Thank you. And right now at noon, a SWAT situation is over in Wilton Manors. Police say a man barricaded himself inside a dental office for hours. And local 10 News reporter Cyber Onwar is live at the scene. And she's telling us how that suspect was eventually taken into custody and that was peacefully done. It was peaceful after nearly five hours. It turned out this man really didn't have any weapons. He didn't have any hostages, but just a bizarre situation. We do know exclusively with our local 10 video that he was putting post-it notes on the windows here at this dental office, appearing to taunt police officers. Mr. Collar is charged in count one with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill. Count two is a criminal mischief over $1,000. Count three is possession, sell, deliver, uh, deliver, display, or use of a weapon of mass destruction. Refusing to appear in Broward Bond Court this morning, but shown in this mugshot, Brian Collar facing felony charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and criminal mischief after this SWAT situation Thursday in Wilton Manors. You can see the man police identify as Collar wearing a black suit and tie, sunglasses, and an earpiece. He's seen barricaded inside the Wilton Manors Dental Building. By 4 p.m., police were at the scene, then the SWAT team. They've been negotiating with him, but he hasn't been cooperating. The standoff going on for hours as the man keeps posting demands on the front glass door. He asks to speak with the FBI. At times, it looks like he's getting frustrated, even posting offensive messages to officers, writing, your IQ is too low. A negotiator trying to convince him to come out peacefully. Oh. Four hours pass and no progress. The man making an offensive hand gesture toward officers. He's just not cooperating. Moments later, the SWAT team moving in, guns drawn and taking the man into custody. Friday morning, the dental office is closed, but shattered glass and a busted door remain as the front entrance is boarded up. And this morning, a Broward judge set Brian Collar's bond at $70,000. If he bonds out, he has to wear a GPS ankle monitor. He cannot return to this dental office or this area or have any contact with the employees here. His motive as to why he did all of this in the first place, still unclear. Reporting live from Wilton Manors, Syra Onwer, Local 10 News.